Jeff, can you uh, maybe tell us a little bit about uh, the the Unity stickers um, or quality stickers you guys were going to wear on your helmets and just how you uh, guys kind of came about that? Yeah. Um, you know, with all the police brutality and um, injustices that have been going on in this country for, uh, you know, hundreds of years, um, we felt like we needed to do something, um, and, you know, that started with the, the Neil for Nine and the several of the videos we put out. Um, we know it was important um, to us because of the platform um, that we hold as Ohio State football players um, to do something. Uh, specifically, the, the equality um, phrase, equality for all, equality for all people, regardless of you know, race, um, gender, uh, culture, ethnicity, whatever it is, um, you know, ev everyone's equal, everyone's equal. Um, and we just thought that was, that was the best way to go about it. Next up, Patrick Murphy from 24 seven sports with Austin Ward on deck, Patrick. Tough. Last year, you guys had some, some kind of built-in motivation coming into the season. I know you were disappointed with the way 2018 went. Now you're coming off a year where you were one of the best defenses in the country, got back to the playoff. Where do you find that same motivation to be as good this year? That motivation comes from, um, you know, not finishing the job, uh, not finishing the way, um, the way that we would like to last year. Um, obviously it's a new season, uh, new people, um, but you know, that, that fire is still there. Um, and, and we still remember that uh, that's something we, we talk about frequently as a team and uh, it's something we carry with us. Thank you. Next up, Austin Ward from Letterman Row with Nathan Baird on deck. Austin? Tough, I'm sure that you guys are uh, really excited to finally see some new faces to compete against on Saturday. Who is somebody that you're tired of dealing with during these training camp practices? Uh, somebody that you've bumped heads with a lot over the last couple of weeks. I would say it's the, the single-handed most person I've bumped heads with is Josh Meyer. You know, every day in, uh, you know, team run, inside drill, whatever it is, you know, we're, we're going at it, we're competing. Um, you know, that whole offensive line has done an unbelievable job. Um, the running backs are, you know, looking, looking great, um, running hard, um, running downhill with low pads. Um, so, you know, like you said, you said it best, you know, we're, we're ready. We, so I think someone said to me yesterday, it was, we've had about 40 practices under our belt. So it's, it's been a long time coming and we're, we're really excited and just uh, grateful to have the opportunity to play. Thanks, Tom. Next up, Nathan Baird with cleveland.com and Mark Snyder on deck. Nathan. Hey, tough. Can you kind of contrast the matchup with Wanda Robinson this year with, with what you guys were expecting last year, it seems like they they've talked about moving him around less, but it sounds like also maybe coach Madison isn't completely buying that and you're still preparing to see him in a lot of capacities. Yeah. Um, you know, with him, he's such a great athlete. You know, last year we saw him at receiver, we saw him in the backfield. So, um, you know, without getting into specifics, it, there's a multiple multiple ways he can he can uh, he can hurt you. So uh, we got to prepare for it all. That's our job, and that's what we're that's what we've been doing. Next up, Mark Snyder from Press Pros with Spencer Holbrook on deck. Mark, yeah, uh, tough. The the one thing uh, that Coach Madison said Madison said that you come to the sideline and talk to the coaches like an NFL linebacker. Um, could you just talk about the confidence and the leadership you're trying to bring? I, you know, you've been you've been a captain a couple times over, but but still, it, it seems like it's more than just uh, tackling and, and and three and outs with you. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think um, you know one of the big parts of the game is being able to adapt um, and make adjustments when necessary. Um, you know, part of part of the job. Um, you know, you see the play on the field, but um, how do we make adjustments on the sideline? And I think a big part of that is being able to communicate, um, you know, what you see 
um, things that they're doing uh, because the coaches a lot of times don't have the best best look at um, what's going on um, when they're on the field. So I think that's key for all, all players on the defense to be able to communicate what they're seeing and what they're doing offensively. When you talk about unfinished business from last year and, and, and fire, it almost it, it's it's like you're talking legacy. You 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 folks want to want to leave Ohio State with, with something uh, and and, and want to be known and to keep up Ohio State the way it's been. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a great. Um, great responsibility with being a Ohio State football player. You know, long history of much success. Um, and, you know, we're just trying to do our part. But we're not really focused on um, what's to come in the long run. Um, we, we know we have to take it day by day, practice by practice, game by game, um, just being in the a, in a present moment. Um, and, you know, that's what our preparation been, has been completely focused on Nebraska and going 1-0 this week. Spencer Holbrook from Letterman Row with Bill Rabinowitz on deck. Spencer? Tough. It seems like every time we talk to one of these defensive guys or coaches, they, they bring up Cody and Mitchell uh, as freshmen who have just really stood out. What's been most impressive to you from watching both of those guys come in and start to compete? Yeah, I mean, both uh, unbelievable players, great athletes. And I think the most impressive part about what they're doing is how fast they've picked on picked up on our defense. Um, you know, a lot of times um, guys flash us, flash us freshmen, um, you know, unknowingly, right? They, they make plays, but they don't, they don't really see the big picture and really know why they're doing what they're doing. And, um, you know, with Cody and Mitch, they can sit back in the, in the classroom and really answer every question. So that's just a testament to um, the great job that they're doing. Next up, Bill Rabinowitz with the Columbus Dispatch and Brendan Gulick on deck. Bill? Hi, Tom. Uh, every opener, I'm sure, is a combination of excitement and nerves because it is the opener. How different do you think it'll be this year, given COVID and all you've experienced already just to get to this point? And what do you think the stadium will be like? Um, well, I, firstly, I, we're, just, we're just grateful, grateful to be here in this situation, being able to play. Um, and I think that will carry a lot of weight and, um, you know, motivation um, to play. Not that we should need any more motivation than to go out and have the opportunity to try and beat a Big Ten opponent. Um, but with that being said, you know, there's no room for error. Um, you know, you don't have a few games to get under your belt before um, you go out there and, and Big Ten play. So um, we know that. We understand that. Um, our focus is on. Nebraska. Uh, as far as the stadium, um, we've been there. We've practiced there um, in an empty stadium. I'm sure they're going to try and uh, juice it up however however they can. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, I don't know. That's tough. I, I don't know. We, should, we shouldn't be focused on uh, the energy levels or the lack thereof. You know, we should just go out and focus on our assignments and what we need to do and um, execute at a high level. Thanks, Tom. Next up, Brendan Gulick from Buckeyes Now on Sports Illustrated. Hey, Tom. Hey, um, this can't happen too often. You're, you're going to see an offensive line that has all five starters returning from last year. Is there something, as you guys have watched film to, to get ready for this game, is there something in particular about the way that unit works together that you know, presents a unique challenge to you? Yeah, definitely. Um, anytime you have an experienced group, uh, you know, they're going to be able to do some things where, um, where you can't do if you're, if you're inexperienced. Uh, you know, those guys are big, tough, physical guys. Um, and I, th I think it's one of their strengths of their offenses. Um, and so we just got to go out and try and match them um, in their physicality and um, be gap sound and um, let our uh, technique and preparation take over from there.
And then in, in terms of preparing for the quarterback spot, obviously Adrian Martinez has played the last couple of years against you. And uh, I know you guys have some film on him. Um, Luke McCaffrey saw very limited time last year, but Scott Banks kind of said, hey, look, we think we've got two guys that are capable of being starting quarterbacks for us. They're going to move forward with Martinez. Is there something that's uniquely challenging about trying to prepare for playing against one quarterback that you know is going to play and maybe a second that has a, a somewhat similar skill set, but, you know, maybe you don't have a lot of tape on it? Yeah, um, you know, Martinez has been a great player for him. Um, he, his skill set, um, you know, gives us some, gives anyone challenges. Anytime you have a running quarterback, um, that can give defenses issues. Um, now with two of them, um, I know that there's a there's a similar similar skill set there. Um, but we just we'll just see what happens. Um, the flow of the game and um, who's in at what time. Um, we just got to be ready um, for our, for both. Um, really, and just fall back on our preparation. Thanks, man. All right, we're going to wrap up our tough questions with some questions from Tim May from the Tim May podcast. Tim? Tough, I don't, thank you very much, Jerry. Tough, I don't know if you remember this long ago, but do you remember the first time you started a game for Ohio State? It was uh, 2017 um, after the Army game. Came back in. Put some time with Chris Worley, so yeah, yeah, can't can't really uh, can't really forget it. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you. You got a bunch of guys around you Saturday, you know, who are replacing big time players. Uh, what do you think is going to be just kind of drawing what you felt that day, and what's going to be going through their mind? Do you think uh, possibly starting for the first time for Ohio State, and how yeah. do you how do you deal with it as a player? Yeah, um, I mean, for me personally. Um, you know, I was I was nervous. I was anxious. Um, it's something you've obviously never experienced before, and it's something completely new to those players. Um, but I, I, it, you can always fall back on on the work you've put in in the preparation. I know I feel like I feel like I've said that a lot, but um, when you're completely honed in on the details and what you're doing and you know your opponent. Um, you should have, you know, the utmost confidence in what you're doing, um, because that's really what what uh, you know what takes you home when you know when things look a little different than what you've seen on film, or yeah, you just um, you know focus on you know visual keys and um, and, and play from there. Is that what you're but telling? I, but, the but, but those guys are those guys have done a great job, um, and I have so much confidence in them.